YouTubers! Today was a super fun day. I got both my June Birchbox and my June Ipsy bags in the mail today, so yay! So this review is going to be about my June 2014 Ipsy Glam bag. And this month's theme is... Pretty in Paradise! Ta-da! What I absolutely love about this month is the bag. It is super pretty. It's got like pineapples on it, really festive. I don't like it as much as last month, but this is definitely up there in one of my favorite bags. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you don't know what Ipsy is, Ipsy is a $10 a month beauty subscription. They send you four to five sample and full-size products, beauty products, um, cosmetics, skincare, hair care, all the above. And it's a really cool way to try items that you might not otherwise have known about. So I enjoy it a lot. So anyway, open up my bag. And the first thing inside this bag is this guy right here. And this is a this is the Jessie's Girl Waterproof Mascara. Or not mascara, sorry, eyeliner. And there was a bunch of reviews that a lot of people opened theirs up and it exploded. <laughs> or it leaked all over the place, or it was really an otherwise traumatic experience. So I was really cautious when I opened it up the first time and luckily I was not affected by this. Um, and the neat thing is, is the end is really, really fine. And what I like about this is, you can do a line, it's really dark, super precise. I really like this. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of most Jessie's Girl products that I have tried. It also has kind of like a spring cap, which is neat. That could be probably why it exploded. Who knows? <laughs> I'm just happy that mine did not explode. Um, like I was saying, um, I'm not the biggest fan of most Jessie's Girl cosmetics because they are drugstore quality and oftentimes not the best. But my only experiences with Jessie's Girl have been eyeshadows, and although I didn't like their eyeshadows, this I did like, so who knows? I might actually have some products from Jessie's Girl that I am a fan of. I'll just have to play around with this a little bit more on my eyes and see how much I like it. One thing I do like is that I can do this and it's not going anywhere. So that is always good. Anyway, back into this bag. And my second item that's jumping out of my hands like a fish is the NYX NYX Butter Gloss. My color is Apple Strudel. Open it up. There's that right there. There's that color for you. I like that. It's a nice pink, but has a mild coral salmon hint to it. So I like that. And this brand I absolutely love. I don't have anything but good things to say about the NYX brand. Um, I also love that they are starting to carry NYX stuff at local targets. So that is awesome and easily obtainable and they're already an inexpensive brand that I think is fully worth the money um, and then some. <laughs> so definitely agree with, with, with NYX. Thank you Ipsy for putting more happy products in your bags. Third product is the Mark Anthony Beach Spray. And this is to create sexy, tussled beach waves all year long. Now that I've cut my hair, my hair likes to naturally curl anyway. So this will only further help that curl. And it smells amazing. It smells like coconut and tropical. It's just, it's, it's a really nice pineapple-y coconut tropical scent. So, and it's a great size. So I am happy about this. The fourth sample is the Be A Bombshell Lash Out Mascara. This is actually the only item that I did not care for this month. Open it up. It is another full-size product. If you're keeping track, this is the third full-size product in my bag this month. Yay, Ipsy! However, you open it up. And there's a really awful smell with this. I'm not kidding. It smells like somebody put a bunch of ginger in a vat of motor oil. That's what it tastes like, or smells like. Ew, don't taste this. This That would be bad. However, I, just, I don't like the smell. I tested it out. It's really not that remarkable. Um, so I'll probably be giving this one away. But 
I do like that I got to try it, and I do like that it was a full-size sample, so even if I wasn't a fan, that's still pretty cool. And then the last item, and this one I'm probably the most excited about, probably, <laughs> is um, this is the Dimitri James Skin Olive and Enzyme Cleaner. This is a rich ball or balm makeup remover and deep cleansing mask. That's this guy. I have heard a lot of really, really good things about this brand. Um, I have a lot of friends who absolutely love this brand. And uh, this is a two ounce sample. So this is like quite a few uses. That's really cool. And they did something that I absolutely love. One of the biggest ways to make me happy is to put that little foil piece on the end of your sample. I don't know why I get such a thrill out of that, but it really, to me, shows that you went the extra mile, even on your samples. And it's definitely, um, definitely a good feeling when I see that. It also means that, well, nobody's tampered with this, so that's great. And then you smell it, and it has this really, really good, like, buttery, tropical, just nice, nice smell. So, I'm excited about this as well. All in all, my Ipsy bag this month was fantastic. This is probably up there in the top five Ipsy bags that I have ever gotten. Um, that being said, again, three full-size products, two generous samples, and only one item that I won't use. And it's still, it was a full size sample that I can give away. So if you are interested in Ipsy, I strongly suggest Ipsy um, in the amount of time that I've been with them, which is well over a half a year. I think we're looking at about seven months, eight months, somewhere in there now. Um, I've only had like one bag I didn't like. And even that was just because the, the problem products weren't for me. Um, but Ipsy is still up there in definitely one of my top subscriptions and I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it and I will talk to you later.